Have you ever stopped to think about what your love life would be like if you viewed it from the perspective of an ancient philosopher? Today, we will delve into a perspective that, although originating thousands of years ago, still resonates today. The Stoic Perspective Stoicism born in ancient Greece and flourishing in the heart of ancient Rome not only addressed questions about the nature of the universe or the purpose of life, but also delved into the complexity of our emotions and relationships. The Stoics believed that life should be lived in harmony with nature and that our emotions, including love and sexual desire, should be understood and managed wisely. Love and sexuality are seen from the Stoic perspective are not mere fleeting passions instead, they are opportunities to exercise virtue, self-control, and more importantly to recognize our shared nature with other human beings. The Stoics taught us that while love can be a powerful and unifying force, it should be approached with awareness and not driven by uncontrolled passions. Regarding sexuality, it was not seen as a mere physical act but rather as an expression of the natural order with its own purposes and meanings. The significance of understanding this lies in the fact that by doing so we discover deeper and more meaningful ways to relate to ourselves and others. In other words, the Stoics offer us a lens through which we can see and understand love and sexuality in a broader context, where self-control, respect, and mutual understanding are of paramount importance. So, if you've ever felt lost or confused about matters of love and relationships, or if you're simply looking for a fresh and profound perspective, join me on this journey through the world of love and sexuality. Through the eyes of the Stoics, because although their words were formulated millennia ago, the lessons they contain are as relevant today as they were then. When we talk about Stoicism, it is impossible not to mention the deep reverence this philosophy had for nature, but how does this relate to our sexuality and desires? First and foremost, for the Stoics understanding human nature was essential to living a virtuous life. They believe that we are born with certain inclinations and desires that are in their essence neutral. What really matters is how we respond and act upon them. So, when we talk about desire, especially sexual desire, it is not something to be rejected or seen as inherently negative. It is simply a part of human nature. However, what sets us apart according to the Stoics is how we choose to act based on those desires, but beyond the simple acceptance of desire as something natural. The Stoics viewed sexuality from a much broader perspective connected to the cosmos. According to their view, everything in the universe follows an order determined by nature, a constant flow of causes and effects. Sexuality, in this context, is nothing more than an expression of that natural order. It is not just a physical act or a simple attraction, but a manifestation of the will of nature for life to continue. This understanding of sexuality as something in harmony with the order of the universe leads the Stoics to see it as something transcendental. It is not just about pleasure or procreation, but a way to connect with something greater than oneself with the rhythm and melody of the cosmos. Therefore, when addressing sexuality from a stoic perspective, we are not just talking about individual acts or desires, but how these fit into the grand canvas of nature. It is a reminder that we are essentially natural beings and our desires and actions even in the realm of sexuality must be understood and addressed in that context more because at the end of the day our sexuality like any other aspect of our existence is an opportunity to live in harmony with the universe 
and with ourselves. Have you ever heard the term stoic love? At first glance it might seem like a contradiction after all. Stoicism is known for its focus on self-control and detachment. While love is one of the most intense and passionate emotions we can experience. But here is where the beauty of Stoic thinking about love lies. The Stoics far from renouncing love invite us to experience it in a deeper and more meaningful way. Seneca, one of the most renowned Stoics said, we don't avoid emotions, but we choose which emotions to follow. It is a call not to reject our emotions, but to guide them and give them direction. The central idea here is not to be carried away by uncontrolled passions. Love when impulsive and unexamined can lead us to hasty decisions, obsession, or even despair. But when we approach it with stoic wisdom, we can love deeply without losing our inner peace. This is what is known as love without attachment. Loving without expecting anything in return without trying to possess or control the other, but simply appreciating their presence and valuing the shared moment. And speaking of this, it is impossible not to mention Epictetus, who had some of the deepest reflections on love and desire one of his most iconic quotes says, Don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do, and you will have a tranquil life. If we apply this to love, Epictetus is telling us that instead of trying to shape the relationship according to our wishes or expectations, we should learn to love and appreciate things as they are to accept the impermanence of relationships the possibility that they may change or even end and still choose to love anyway. Detachment in the stoic context does not mean lack of care or affection on the contrary. It means loving in a freer and more genuine way. The ability to enjoy the present without constantly worrying about the future to appreciate the loved one without trying to change them and to understand that true love is not possessive, but liberating. In summary, the Stoics offer us a unique perspective on love, one that is deeply passionate, but at the same time balanced and centered. It is a reminder that love in its purest form is a celebration of life and our connection with others. And when we experience it from this place of Stoic wisdom and detachment, it becomes one of the most enriching and transformative experiences of our lives. Marriage and family has been fundamental pillars in many cultures throughout history. But how did the Stoics view them? What meaning did they attach to these institutions? And how did they live them in their daily lives to begin with? We must understand that for the Stoics, marriage was not just a union of two people in love but also a commitment to society and the continuity of humanity. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, mentioned that the act of marriage is a natural act directed toward the continuation of the species. He did not see it as a mere social convention, but as an integral part of the cosmic harmony and the natural order of things. From this perspective, the duties and responsibilities in a marriage were not seen as burdens, but as opportunities for personal growth and contributing to the common good. Fidelity, mutual respect, support, and commitment were fundamental to the Stoics. A successful marital relationship is based on the virtue of mutual understanding and a commitment to working together to achieve a greater good, both for the couple and the community. When it comes to education and children, the Stoics had an equally deep and reflective perspective. They firmly believed that children are not simply small adults, but developing beings who need guidance, love, and above all good examples to follow. Seneca said, children learn more from what you are 
than from what you teach. In other words, the behavior and actions of parents are the first life lessons for their children. From this perspective, educating a child was not just about imparting knowledge, but also instilling values. Teaching through example and preparing them to face life with wisdom and resilience. The Stoics advocated for an education that cultivated virtue, self-control, and the ability to face adversity with serenity. In conclusion, the Stoic view of marriage and family is a combination of commitment to nature society and oneself. It was not just about fulfilling roles or following conventions, but about living according to principles that enrich the lives of individuals and the community as a whole. It is a vision that though ancient continues to have surprising relevance in today's world and offers a refreshing perspective on how to live in relationships and family responsibilities fully. And we must remember the words of Marcus Aurelius who asserted, what does not benefit the hive does not benefit the bee. This simple reflection invites us to view love and relationships, not only from an individual perspective, but also from a collective one. Reminding us that what is good for one should also be good for the other and vice versa. Seneca, on the other hand, advised us that wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. In the context of love, this reflection invites us to treat our partner with kindness, understanding and respect at all times, recognizing their humanity and value in our lives. But how do we apply these insights to our current relationships? Here are some ideas based on stoic thought. 1. Value the present. Seneca reminded us that Life is short, appreciate every moment with your partner, live in the present and don't let worries or expectations of the future overshadow your current happiness. 2. Self-control. The Stoics believed in the importance of self-control and love. This means not giving in to unfounded jealousy, anger or resentment. Cultivate patience and understand that everyone including yourself is imperfect. 3. Love without attachment. As Epictetus taught, we should not hold on too tightly to external things, as they are not under our control. This includes relationships that love passionately, but always be prepared to accept any outcome with serenity. 4. Cultivate communication. While the Stoics did not directly address communication in relationships, they did emphasize the importance of wisdom and mutual understanding in daily life. In relationships open and honest communication is essential to understand and be understood. 5. Seek mutual growth. Love is not just about feeling butterflies in your stomach, but also about growing together as individuals. As Marcus Aurelius would say, seek what is beneficial for both and foster mutual improvement in the relationship. In the end, Stoic wisdom invites us to view love and relationships from a prism of authenticity, understanding and growth. Although they lived millennia ago, their teachings remain a guiding light in the complex labyrinth of love in the contemporary world. Perhaps by embracing this wisdom, we can find deeper, more meaningful and balanced love in our lives. Before we part ways, please confirm your subscription to the channel. Here are two videos that may be of interest to you. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you soon.